wanted to do a run through on the calculator based on one of the problems we did last night uh, so that you're comfortable with how to do the NPV calculations. You might remember from chapter 8 last night we did that problem, the first one we did with the big spreadsheet in the uh, income statement we had to create. This is where we got to. We ended up with an N NPV, if you remember our initial cost was a negative 16,345,000. We were going to bring in $4,772,000 each year for four years. And then in the fifth year, we would bring in more because of the salvage value and the working capital recovery. So in year five, we were going to bring in $5,687,000. You'll notice for this problem, I dropped all three zeros at the end of each number. So after we compute an NPV, we're going to have to multiply it by 1,000 to, uh, to get the actual NPV. I dropped the three zeros just to make it simpler. We see that in financial statements all the time. Um, as you recall, the, um, the uh, discount rate for this problem is 12%. And I think on the slide last night I had 1.266 million or something. But it, the actual answer is 1,376,188. So we're going to demonstrate it first by looking at the, um, the calculator. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Um, if not, uh, don't worry because I've, I've got another way to show you this. Okay, let's see if I can move this so it's centered and you can see it a little bit better. I think you should be able to see that. Okay, so when I turn on my calculator, it has an IRR number in there. The first thing I'm going to do is hit the cash flow button. And when I do, I've got data in here. So hit the second button, the upper level button, and the clear entry, and it will clear out all of your cash flow data. Do that first. And then, so our initial cost was 16345 I think. We've got to turn it negative and um, hit enter and the down arrow key. And then in year one, our cash flow is 4772. Enter, down arrow key. We're just going to presume that that cash flow is occurring one time, so hit the down arrow key again. In year two, it's 4772. Enter and down arrow key. The frequency stays at one, it means that it's occurring one time. In year three, it's 4772. Enter, down arrow key. Again, the frequency is staying at one. Hit the down arrow again. Year four, 4772. Enter, down arrow key. Frequency stays at one, so you hit the down arrow again. And then in year five, it's 5687. Enter, and down arrow key. I always hit the down arrow key an extra time to get to cash flow in year six, this should, just to make sure there's nothing in there. Um, you could stop after the frequency in five is, is equal to one. That was fine. Then you hit the NPV button, and it says I equals zero. It's asking you for the interest rate that you're going to use to discount, and you enter, you hit 12 and enter. You do not hit 0.12. It's not a percentage. You put the actual rate, so it's 12 and enter and down arrow key, and then it says NPV equals zero, it's, it's ready to solve for the NPV. So go back up here and hit the compute button, and you come up with 1,376.19. 1, Remember, we have to multiply this by 1,000. When we do that, we get our NPV of 1,376,187. We could, at this point, hit the IRR button, and it says IRR equals zero, it's ready to compute. Just hit compute, and it comes up with an internal rate of return of 15.27. You could have done that if you were curious about the, um, the internal rate of return. OK, so hopefully that showed. And let's go back over to um, the PowerPoint slide. So we came up with this answer using the calculator. And now I went through and I showed you all the keystrokes. The down arrow clearly is the down arrow on the calculator, so I didn't have to write that out a, a bazillion times. Um, and the instructions are here on how to calculate the NPV using the calculator. If you have any questions, give me a call. Have a good week.